Hey there folks, good morning. Welcome to another installment of 7 Minutes this morning. Today, the first day of the week coming to you from the beach down here in Gulf Shores, beautiful Gulf Shores, Alabama. Today I want to talk to you about when it's time to make a stand and how that works out for you in your business. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome. It is a bright shiny day down here on uh, the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, I guess, looking right out the window that way at it. Look, if, uh, if you haven't already seen some of them, be sure and follow me right there on Instagram. There'll be some pictures, there'll be a few pictures from the trip down there. That point notwithstanding, I want to get to today's topic, but before we get there, be sure and leave a comment, say hello, good morning, hey, how you doing? Whatever. Have you ever been to Gulf Shores? Is this the kind of place where you like to come and hang out? Personally, I'm not a beach kind of guy. I like the mountains better, but you can't beat the view. So, uh, and so whether you're watching on the live or on the replay, be sure and leave that comment. All right. So taking a stand, there's lots of different ways that taking a stand manifests itself. But today I want to talk to you specifically about, um, when it's time to take a stand for your business, and I'm, and let me make one fine adjustment right there. There we go. That should be a little bit better for you. Um, here's a here's a way to test this: Is your product the best product in the market? Is your service the best service in the market? Am I the best coach in the market? Right. The these. This is kind of what I want to talk to you about taking a stand. You have to have the confidence in yourself, your product, your business to say that you're the best. Now, and, and I, look, uh, a lot of the stuff that we talk about here is stuff for me too, right? I have to eat a little bit of my own dog food on this sometimes. I couch what I do as, you know, I, I'm, I'm very good, but I might not be a good fit for you, right? So... But the reason I want to bring this up and the point that I really want to make is if you are not confident in your service or product, then who else is going to be? Do you really want the brain surgeon that says, well, um, you know, I've, I've read up on this and watched a couple of YouTube videos. I, I, I think we can make this work. What? It, is that the person you're looking for? <laughs> to do your brain surgery or somebody's like, oh yeah, we got this. Besides, you know, I'm the best one. I'm, I'm the right guy, the best one, whatever, right? You have to exude confidence. People will lead, people will follow you if you will lead them. The only way to lead them is to say, yes, the product I have, the service that I offer is the best and you are in the right hands. Case in point. You're in the best hands with the best results coach on the planet. Right here. Oh, I said it and I didn't even couch it. How about that? So I, I want you to think, as you kind of go through your day today, I want you to think about this. How are, how are other people hearing the way you describe the services you offer? Do, does confidence come through? Does making a stand and and positioning yourself come through. And look, I understand a lot of times we don't want to make that that type of I'm the best proclamation just because we don't want to get called on it. But you know what? The, re the reality is that people want to know that you are confident. If you don't have the confidence that you can deliver the service, why should they have the confidence that you can? Listen, if you get any time, any value at all from our time together, I would appreciate it if you'd give me the old like, thumbs up, stars, hearts, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening, as I usually do, I want to mention here. If you can't catch the video every morning, it is available on all of your favorite podcast catchers, usually by 7.30 every morning. Uh, so you can subscribe and get those there, iTunes, Google Store, uh, Stitcher, TuneIn, all those places. 
So wherever and whatever is most convenient for you, that's where I would like for you to listen each day. Thanks so much for being here today. Uh, don't forget to leave that comment, and I will be back again tomorrow, again from the beach, with a brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care.